Okay, here's our third video on variations, and I told you that as we were working in class, we were talking about the mechanics of how to set all this stuff up, and we read a bunch of word problems. We talked about Boyle's Law and Ideal Gas Law and uh, Hooke's Law, etc. What I wanted to do today is try one of these word problems, and this is the ele uh, on electrical resistance. And the problem suggests that the electrical resistance R of a wire varies directly as its length L and inversely as the square of its diameter D. So the first part of the question uh, asks us to express R in terms of L, D, and a constant of variation K. And we talked about that a lot. So given the skills that we already have, we started to set this up. Uh, you can see here that, that it varies directly with L. So here's L here. And K is, uh, sorry, R is varying directly. It's up here. And inversely, as the square of the diameter, so here's the diameter, here's D here, and it says that we should square that. It says that we should square that, and we did. So we have now our equation R is equal to KL over D squared. doesn't help us yet. We're still missing something, I think, so let's take a look. The second part of the problem says a wire 100 feet long of diameter 1 one hundredth of an inch has a resistance of 25 ohms, find the value of K in part A. So they're telling us, to take part A, this part up here, bring it down, which is what we did, and then it's telling us, frankly, to fill in the blanks. So we fill in the blanks, it says the resistance has a resistance of 25 ohms, so 20 resistance was here, so it goes to here, 25. Uh, had a length of 100, so we went where there was L here, and I color-coded this, plugged it in, it said diameter of one one hundredth of an inch but if you remember in the equation it says that we're supposed to square it so we did okay um, I didn't do all this this algebra for you this is gonna drive me crazy um, so I just want to remind you to complete this algebra carefully just take your time remember here that if you one way to do this would be to actually just cross multiply here so you could cross multiply here and here Anyway, when everything gets simplified out, you'll get that the value K is equal to 1 over 40,000. Now, it doesn't ask us to do this, but heck, we're here. So here's the equation. Once we solve for the K value, remember it's KL. Here it's 1 over 40,000. So 1 times L is still L, and 40,000 times this D squared is 40,000 D squared. So here's our equation. R is equal to L over 40,000 D squared. So moving on. Moving on, it says sketch the graph of the relation between R and D for L is 100 feet and the diameter is greater than zero, which makes perfect sense to me. <clears throat> and if you look at this, we know how this works, right? We know that we know how this is going to work. We've worked on these types of equations before, right? We have we actually have L as 100, so it should be 100 up here. Anyway, we know that as this as diameter gets closer and closer to zero, this thing is going to become a much bigger number. We're going, to have, we're going to have 400 times some number very close to zero. So this number at the bottom is going to get smaller as this one gets as this one gets as this one stays the same. So it's going to go this way. We also know that as this number gets really really large, we're going to have a fraction here, and it's going to become very very close to zero. So it's going to have a vertical asymptote as x approaches 0 and a horizontal asymptote as y approaches 0 there. So, okay. So moving on finally, it says find the resistance of the wire made of the same material that has a diameter of, what is that? Uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So 15 ten thousandths of an inch. And it has a yeah, it has a length of 50 feet, so I'm just going to fill in the blanks again. L was up here, so we put in 50 for the length. This 40,000 was con was part of the constant of variation. Here we have the diameter, and it says for us to square it. And if you do your algebra, this is a great place to use a calculator. That We're going to find out when we simplify this that the resistance is 50 over 9 ohms. So uh, I hope this was helpful. What I hope you do is that as you're working on the other problems in the book that look a lot like this, that you'll come back and use this video again. Um, okay, good work and enjoy your day off.